Mm. Come on. Started with nothing, we turn into something. Yeah. That's what's up. We pay the way for tens and thousands. They hit us with fines and fears, but they cannot stop the vision. We on a mission. The vision. Follow the clemency. Committed to any discrimination for all of the nation. And we jam in history. Yeah, we jam in history. Mm. That's what's up, what's up Hey listen, how y'all like our new theme song That we're gonna be blasting on all of our podcasts The new FRC man, theme song That was smooth, smooth man That's that was, smooth, huh? Yeah, that's real smooth Man, listen, that was done by this amazing artist called Wavy Mob, man Wavy Mob Come on, <laughs> say it louder, Wavy Mob That's right, give a big shout out to Wavy Mob for putting this uh Producing this amazing track that really talks about the organization and the work that we're doing. Uh, but here at our voice, our voice podcast, man, we are the voice of people who've been impacted by the criminal justice system. And while we recognize that all kinds of people may have all kinds of degrees on the wall and may want to talk about criminal justice and all this other kind of stuff, there's no better voice and no more authentic voice than the voices of people who've been impacted directly uh, by these issues. And that's one of the main reasons why we started this podcast. No, that's right exactly right. And if that's you, if you've been impacted by the criminal justice system, and this is your podcast, we'd love to hear your suggestions, your thoughts. Tell us what you're thinking, what you want to talk about, because we're taking our life experience and having a family conversation around well, it. Well, before we even go any further, we got to say some very key words, man. You know what those are? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are those? Happy New Year, y'all. <laughs> 22. <laughs> 2022. <laughs> We're going to do it and 22 it. How about that? <laughs> Like we're going to do it and 22 it. Yeah, listen, man, for everyone, all of our listeners, man, we want to first of all wish you all a happy new year, man, and um, really wish the best for you in this upcoming uh, season, in this year of, 19, of 2022. Uh, and matter of fact, you know, I think what would probably be so great, man, is that we should take some time on this show to really reminisce about what we've been able to accomplish in 2021 with the show you know, and an amazing guest that we have. And, and and I think that sets us up for what we're going to be doing. Let me tell you something. 2022 is going to be an amazing year uh, with this podcast. We're going to have uh, some amazing guests. We're going to talk about the guests we had in 21, right? And that's going to give you a sense or some type of idea of how we're going to be bringing it in 22. Yeah, and a big shout out to all you guys who are listening. We love getting that feedback. And that, like I said, man, happy 2022. We're going to take a little look back at 2021. We're going to like slingshot this, you know, just go back a little bit because the best <laughs> is yet to come, man. It's ahead of us and yeah. it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, most definitely, man. Listen, let me tell you. <laughs> I, hey, I'm going to tell you straight up, Neil. You know, uh, you know, we, we 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 had our list, you know, we had, okay, what's well, those events, you know, you had yours, you know, and I was like, okay, well, you don't have, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm going to go ahead and say that, you know, first and foremost for me, right, one of the biggest highlights was when we had my wife co-host, right? Oh, and, so you're saying your top <laughs> memory was one, when well, listen, Sheena I, me. I'm, may, I'm making sure I'm getting my points, right? I'm gonna be you're straight a wise up. man. I always knew you're a wise point. man. I know but you're a really wise man. Even even if she wasn't my wife, the fact that we were able to have Clean Slate oh, on because Clean Slate was doing, and that's what we was talking about. Some of the amazing work that uh, uh, the Clean Slate Initiative is doing on a national level, right? And now, even though we like to talk a lot about the 1.4 million people that we was able to uh, uh, clear the pathway for voting rights, right? Clean Slate was touching six, seven million people's lives, and it's growing. Every single day, I just heard news that New York is that's going to be on the top of the agenda for New York. Yeah, the the, the governor just yeah. came out and said, "Hey, clean slate's yep. one of my top priorities." And you're right, yep. man. How many people trying to get a job, trying to you know move forward yep. with your life, and all of a sudden it's like, man, that thing is still <laughs> hanging out there. Listen, right? clean it. And that's why it, it's it's the first. Uh, 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 a show that I'm talking about, right? Be and not because of my wife Sheena was on it, but because of the fact of the impact. Because when we're talking about a show for returning citizens and the, the obstacles that they face and how we overcome these things, right? Because this is a more of a positive focused uh, podcast, right? 
to be able to talk about work that's being done right now, right? It's not wishful work. It's work that's being done right now that's impacting millions of lives and giving them access to better jobs and giving them access to housing and all kinds of stuff because their records are clear. And so that's why that, that's my first um, uh, selection uh, whether we reminisce about 2021, man, I, you know, my, that, my, mine, that, that was mine, mine as well. Uh, you hear that, Sheena? Nah, yeah, so, but the one A, man, I gotta tell you, we have Ben and Jerry from Ben and Jerry's oh. on here. I don't nah. know if you remember eating ice cream or not, but I man. remember eating ice man, cream. Man, listen, I can still taste that Cherry Garcia. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. But you know what? I even taste even more, right? Maybe a possibility of actually getting an ice cream named after the movement. Bro. Oh, that was so cool, man. Ben yep. and Jerry on the show saying, hey, we should probably have a welcome home ice cream flavor. You heard that, Ben and Jerry? We remember, and we got you, we got the receipts, we got y'all on tape, right? And we're going to hold y'all to this. We're going to keep pushing. In 2022, we're pushing to get an ice cream named in honor of people who are being released from incarceration back into their community. Come on, Ben and Jerry. Let's make 2022 the year that we get a welcome home ice cream flavor that helped fuel the movement. This is what you would do in 22. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do yeah. in 22? Man, two rounds is a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so w- one of the one of the other um one of the other episodes that um that really was impactful for me was the one that we did with Representative Tar, mm-hmm. right? Uh here we had a a, a, a returning citizen, a female returning citizen uh, out of the state of Washington. Uh, who t- turned her life around, end up going to college and getting a law degree and challenging the Supreme Court and having them rule in her favor to actually allow her to practice law at the same time she was running um, a, a, a organization, a nonprofit organization, uh, and she eventually ran for office and won. And once, and man, yeah. and once she got a, what's up, Rep. Tara Simmons, we appreciate you. You are an innovator and an encouragement to all of us. And not only did she win, right, she came through big time. That first session she had, she got bills passed, signed into law by the governor, helping people and vote. Not, not, helping yeah, people it wasn't get just your, any bill. That's exactly right. right. This ain't no she, name in no. the post office or nothing. See, when you talk about a public servant going up to the state capitol to do work for their constituents, she showed how it's done. That's right. right. That's so we get, cause we get so many people who we elect in office, make all these big promises and they don't deliver nothing. That's right. There's right? a difference between a politician and a public servant. <laughs> right. And man, Rep Simmons, hey. you are a public servant. And guess there. what? Right. And, and, and here it is a returning citizen elected official showing everybody else how it's supposed to be done, which makes even more exciting. The fact that even right now, as we speak and there's an election going on that we got what? Not one, but two returning citizens that's running for higher office, Man, right? That's what's Think up. about that, yeah. right? That's right. Right? And, and and you know what? I'm going to say that's why my choices are, like, so much more better than Neil's choices, <laughs> right? Because check this out. My second choice, we're talking about Tara, right? I'm going to go out on a limb and say because of that episode with Tara, we had two people that was inspired Ooh, to run for office. Oh, okay. Bam. Well, you know I what see saying? what we're doing now. So that's so what powerful. You're doing. So my two choices right now is knocking your two choices out. Uh, uh, well, your, your, your first choice, you got it. You still got a second choice. Yeah, my, you my do, second right? choice. <laughs> you talk about having an impact yeah. was actually when we had Norris <laughs> Henderson on the show, <laughs> and we had Alina, a woman from Miami, who was uh, <laughs> dealing with this issue, in, in which there were folks who had been uh, sent home from prison. During COVID, and all of a sudden, it was looking like they were going to have to come back. They were going to have to go back into prison, despite the fact that they had reunited with their families. So many of them had gotten jobs. I remember us having a real conversation. Yeah, I remember and, telling uh, uh, the president, right, sending a message that he needed to man up. That's exactly right. I think Nora said, he's like, hey, yeah. this is an opportunity to do something yeah. for all these folks. Well, let's. Let me let's let's just remember what happened. What happened? The president <laughs> moved and they changed the policy. Oh. And so now there's hope for so many folks who have been reunited with their families and are moving forward with their lives. That they don't and have they, to go back. They don't have to go back. They don't have to go back, man. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Like we like it's like we're throwing haymakers at each other, right? <laughs> 
I felt that one a little bit. You know, I still don't think it it, it, it knocked out the tower thing. But hey, I'm gonna throw a haymaker back oh, at you. I love the episode we did around jobs. Oh. Jigga, 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 jobs. Dang. Right? Yep. Straight up. And we had, matter of fact, we even had a couple of um, uh, 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 business owners. One was a returning citizen. Yep. Right? And then we had another one that was not a returning citizen, but employed a lot of returning citizens. Uh, and, and his name was Arthur. Arthur Knapp. I'll never forget that. Uh, and how he was talking about just his faith, you know, and his experience uh, really pushes him to create opportunities for uh, returning citizens to get careers. I got to tell you, I remember Monique, who was one of the business owners, as uh, uh -huh. we were asking questions about, like, hey, what was the secret? How do you get your business success? And, man, they just were talking about reminding us, right, that, hey, we're good enough. We're, we're here. We're just like anybody else. We can succeed. Mm -hmm. And I just love that message that she was sharing with so many other people to say, look, mm -hmm. you want to start a business? You're a returning citizen? You got this thing. And, and, the, and the boom that happened from that is coming out of that episode, we got more engaged with Chambers of Commerce, yeah, right. and we started even plotting and planning for the Second Chance Expo, which we had one planned for uh, Orlando, but because of COVID, um, the pandemic concerns, we, we were forced to kind of postpone that. But out of these episodes that we're naming, good things you were followed it, you oh, know, that's right. that was related, man, you know. And so I think that was uh, that was another was, haymaker yeah, thing. I, yeah, what I, you I got there? What I, you I, got? I, I feel it though, because there was a <laughs> there was a guy, if I remember right, who got the Desmond Mead Baddest Dude in DC Award during the show, and his name is Marcus Bullock. Oh. Come on, man! Marcus Bullock is the CEO of Flick Shop, which. Yeah. The, yeah. Inc. Magazine is called the Instagram of prisons. Yeah. And, man, what an inspiring story he brought to the show, man. That was yeah. incredible. That Mark, hey, what's up, Marcus? What's Come up? Come on, Marcus. You know, <laughs> hey, that's my homie there, you know. Um, amazing story. You know, I think that, you know, and, uh, like, uh, following the, the theme here, you know, I think what came up out of that, too, was a, a, a renewed sense of hope. That's right. I think there were some folks that was able to be inspired knowing you know, his story, uh, um, you know, as a teenager getting caught up uh, in, 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 in the carjacking, I think it was, um, and being locked up for uh, quite a long period of time. But it was in those moments that he was able to really um, connect with folks, particularly even like his, one of his homies, Dwayne, right? right. Yep. And, 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 other folks, other old timers that really got his mind right. And he had that experience with his mom and he was able to experience firsthand what it meant for families to remain connected even when someone is incarcerated and what that type of support, what does it mean? And 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 so I think that, you know, after that, uh, there was a couple of events um which I personally attended uh at the um uh, one of the correctional facilities here in, in Florida, uh, specifically Everglades Correctional Institution, where we were able to go in and, and, and talk to some of the folks that was there. And let me tell you, right, you know, listen, let me tell you, we are, we are streaming on all platforms, right? Every single platform. And the one, the main one, the one I want us to get, right, the one I really want us to get, is the one where, because here's the thing, people who are incarcerated right now in Florida, right, and maybe even across the country, right, are watching what FRRC is doing and are getting inspired. I'm telling you, I went in there and there was so many people that said, yeah, we're following FRRC and Come on, you guys are expiring up, us and it's great to know that there are people out there who are thinking about us in here you know, and, and, and it's a motivation for us and stuff like that. And so I'm hoping that with all of the platforms that we're streaming on now, that somehow or another we figure out a way to get our podcast inside the walls, right? That's inside right. the walls. And, you know, we I, I'm going to take credit, you know, what we should take credit, I should say. And you know what? I dare anybody to challenge us. Matter of fact, you, Norris, I dare you to challenge us. I'm going to say that our podcast inspired other folks to understand that they have such an amazing voice because I believe Vote Now started the podcast as well, uh -huh. right? And, and of course, you so know, we feed they up. they saw and, what yeah. we're doing, right? Yeah, 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 clearly. You know, <laughs> and, and, and that's the least you could do after, you know, messing me up on the doggone paintball. 
feel and everything. He's and talking about, about it, it, Norris. Yeah, I, I, listen, I'm going to therapy over this paintball episode, Norris Henderson. And at Domination. some point, I'm going to eventually get over it. <laughs> well, hey, can I go number four? Can All I do right, my fourth ahead, one? Because, yeah, we'll man. We got a big one. All right, go and ahead. Quan Bolden. I oh, said it. And oh, he Quan pulled that. Bolden. Listen, listen, Neil pulled that out of the hat, right? Because it wasn't on his <laughs> oh, list. Don't he believe him, man, Quan. He pulled that, and he was feeling the heat. <laughs> he was feeling the heat that I was bringing, and he pulled that out of his hat. <laughs> and Quan brought the heat, speaking yeah, of bringing the yeah. heat. And, man, here we are right in the middle of football season at the mm-hmm. end of the year, beginning of the new year. And, man, he that's a guy who uses his platform to make change in his community, in our state. Like, we heard stories of his own family members, people in the community yeah, yeah. who, you know, had had run-ins with police. Yeah. And he stepped in, man. He did the right thing, and he, he fought the good fight and yep. help change people's lives for the real. Yep, his work on his own and his work with the Players Association uh, is to be highly commended, you know, as far as with their ability to really amplify the work that's being done in, in various communities across the country, uh, and more specifically here in Florida. He's been he's been a strong supporter. But I think it's, you know what, if you don't mind. Oh, if you don't right. mind. No, 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 no. I'd like to take a moment. For station identification, right? <laughs> you know, you know this. I'm wearing uh, my vote shirt with mm. the Dolphins on there. You know, because um, I want to represent the Miami Dolphins, right? We didn't make the playoffs this year, uh, right? Uh, well, let, let, but, let me take it to another level because right, because there is, I believe it's proven by facts, but uh-huh. there's this thing going around that <laughs> when Desmond Mead shows up at a sporting event, what that team wins. That's right. You hear that <laughs> heat? Dolphins, magic. magic yep. Come on, Devin. Desmond's yep. in the house. Yep. You're going to win. Listen, I need, matter of fact, you know what? I came up with this great idea. But matter of fact, no, no. Before I even get to this great idea, let me just finish this. So we were able to, um, oh, yeah. this past weekend, was able to go to the Dolphins-Patriots game where FRC was recognized at halftime at midfield, right? What do they call it? Half it's not half court. It's it's fifty yard line. Yep, fifty yep. yard line, midfield, right? Huge check. Uh two hundred thousand dollars that the uh social impact committee, which is a committee that's made up of dolphin players only. Catch that. That's the yep. players, right? There. Players yeah. only came together and said, you know what? We like the work that y'all doing around fines and fees and we want to contribute some to it. And so when they contribute a certain amount, they're able to get matching dollars from the NFL. And so they were able to put together a package of $200,000 that we're uh, exclusively using to help people in the communities surrounding the Dolphin Stadium. Uh, we're going to help folks uh, with their fines and fees. Because like you know, we always say, we don't think that no American citizens should be forced to choose between putting food on their table or being able to vote, right? Uh, and, and can you just say yeah. that again? Because I know a lot of people hear, like, lines and stuff like that, but there are yeah. people in our state yeah. who literally have to choose between putting food on the table or voting. Or paying their rent and mortgage or voting, Come right? On, that's and, wrong, and, that's and wrong. No, I think access to democracy now should be free and unencumbered, right? <laughs> and, and, and that's one of the many pillars that we're working on. But to have uh, a professional team, NFL team, uh, willing to step up and put their money where their mouth is, um, I thought was 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 great. And so I decided that for you know tonight's episode, I wanted to wear. And, and did they win? Life. I mean, you were in the you oh, were yeah, there. They so won. They, yeah, I mean, yeah. Heck, I they go fishing with you when, De- when when Desmond's on the boat. We go we fish That's better. Right. So like, hey, man, keep it real. It's That's real. Right. It's real. Listen, I'm telling you, anytime I'm on it, you hey, listen, you want to catch fish. Bring me along with that's you. That's right. right. That's right. Right. I'm, that's for real. It's not just a way and, for Desmond to get and, invites, though. It's a good way to get invites, but it's true. Notice to all of the NBA teams, the NFL teams <laughs> out there, um, like Tampa. I'm a hate, I hate to say it. You're not getting to Super Bowl unless you got FRC coming to the game. That's right. I mean, point blank. That's you right. Know? We still got time. Right here. We got time. You, know, you still got time to get it right. But the NFL teams um, and the NBA teams. Even if you know, listen. If even if it's not FRC, there are organizations in your communities. Uh, if anybody's listening from any of these teams on this show, just know that listen, you ought to partner up with teams that's on the ground doing the work and find creative ways to impact the community 
and definitely take the lead from the organizations that's there, especially those led by directly impacted people. And amazing things can happen. And so just that's right. And I, and I don't want to steal your thunder because I yeah. know you want to talk about our first episode. But what? Stan Van Gundy <laughs> made a special. He called in oh, on yeah, our first episode, did, right? So like, right? He knows <laughs> about kind of like, yeah, what's going yep. on? What's up, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you, Coach. You yeah. encourage us that that day one, man. And and and, and so even uh, you know thinking about you know speaking of sports, you know we listen. I'm looking to bring more of, of, of athletes and sports figures onto this show in 2022. I think 2021 gave us a good sounding board, I mean, a good launching pad with the coach, of course, with Anquan, you know, and I think that we can we could do even more, you know. Um, I, hey. Look, look, I don't want to be critical of our yeah. own show, right, but I do think we, we didn't have enough Buckeyes on this Man, show. Like- okay, so check this out, right? So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and we're we doing a quiz on this show. Now, the, those, you know, especially people who work at FRC know that Desmond always like to do like these impromptu quizzes, right? Right? And for $100, right? You know, $100, Neil. Okay. Quiz time. Yep. Right? What was the biggest thing that happened on, on, on our show? The biggest? In 2021. In 2021, yeah. what was the biggest thing that happened on yeah, our the show? The biggest thing we talked about on our show. Man, it, it, it's got to be. You only get one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I only get, oh, well, we're going to throw M&M at well, me? Well, right, right, right. get one shot, we right. get two shots. So, all right, two shots. You get two shots. Two shots? Two shots. What's the uh, biggest uh, thing? Um, he's not going to get it, y'all. Trust me. He's not right, going to so, get so, it. So I, I, I'm sitting there thinking the biggest thing that happened was, man, uh, I, I, man, Ben and Jerry naming an ice right, cream after Jerry's the movement, okay. man, man, that's, that's, that's a huge, good shot. That's, that's a good shot. I, I, that's it's a not, good shot. I, I understand that this is a little subjective because right, it's like, <laughs> what, what's in Desmond's head, man? That's a hey, tough game to get, play. All right. So get, all right, the other, you got one more shot. One more shot. Man, I think the other one was just kind of lighting the fuse with those returning citizens, man. That, oh. that, that said to everyone, uh, man, this is your show. Man, and I mean that in the most pandering way possible. Neil, hey, hey, listen, <laughs> if, if there's ever a politician amongst us two, it's Neil, y'all. It's Neil. Trust me. Really, Neil? That's... Yeah, that was. I was laying the groundwork so you could say that Sheena no. was the, the best part no, of that. No, what was the biggest thing that happened on our show? What was the biggest thing that happened on show? What was the biggest thing that happened on our show, Neil? You supposed to be like on top of that. <laughs> man, how, how is Neil? I thought Neil was my like number man. one wingman, you know, and I just knew he was gonna be on the top of his head. You were gonna say Desmond. The biggest thing that we that happened on the show was when we announced that you was the MacArthur Genius Fellow. Didn't even say that. I'm so sad. Hey, if this politician's poll numbers, oh, man, man, just like that. Uh, I right am. I'm just so disappointed. There, I, it, 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 unbelievable. You know, that's why you're the genius. Unbelievable. You know? like, he, he's like actually a genius. Hey, MacArthur <laughs> genius. He now, FYI, hey, look, look at me. For real, for real. Desmond is a genius, but now he calls himself a genius, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's part of my name now, you know what I'm saying? Desmond Some people genius. have the GD next to the name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Desmond genius. That's right. The genius, right? <laughs> that's how we going to do it. But, I love but, it. Uh, no, but seriously, you know, that... MacArthur thing happened in, in actually in the middle of our uh, 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 of our shows, man. And um, that's a big deal, dude. Yeah, and it really and here's the thing, right? Because that was the first time you had formerly incarcerated people actually being named a genius, and not one but two. It was myself and Reginald Dwayne Betts uh, who was able to be named a genius, and then we had other folks um, that was also. Uh, attached to criminal justice reform and doing some serious work around that. Uh, that and Des, I don't think that a lot of people know, but no. the MacArthur Genius Award, man, like, like there's the Nobel Prize is the next one yep, for you, right? It. Like that's the biggest in the country, between, man. man. That is, that's a huge, yep. huge deal, man. That's an honor for you to get it. And yep. man, we're so proud of you. And 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 I'm tell you the reason why not the not the, I wasn't trying to uh, what to call it rib you or whatever. Oh, I, yeah. well, yes, I was. I, <laughs> I was, was just gonna say I was. <laughs> I was I was like the poke at him, right? <laughs> but no, the reason why I mention that because uh, one I think the greatest thing about the MacArthur was it helped elevate the voice of directly impacted people of returning citizens, which is a s- stronger commitment that we're making at our vote our voice for 2022, right? That we're going to crank it up a notch and make sure that we amplify even more the voices 
of returning citizens, man, right? And Desmond, man, you're right on it. It reminded me of what Marcus said. was like, hey, man, you can't be or you can't dream what you don't see, right? So all of a sudden, man, there's returning citizens everywhere. There's people impacted by the system everywhere. Like, what? Desmond Mead became a MacArthur Genius Award. Huge encouragement to everybody out there who's who's trying to improve their lives. Yep, and and as we're, you know, I know right now we're in still in the midst of uh, of this uptick with the, what they call it, the... Omicron, what was that again? Uh, I say the other variant because yeah. I can't say it either, I, man. I, I, man, I get, I think about the uh, Omicron or whatever it is. We know it's bad, right? But anyway, with the uptick of COVID cases, um, hoping you know we're hoping that it levels off and starts dropping because in 2022 we really want to start bringing more people in studio, yeah, uh, uh, with us, right, uh, and really have these live conversations. Uh, we know that our technology is is improving as well uh, on our social media platforms. We have expanded. Uh, we're not just on Fireside, man. We're on 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 Apple now. That's right, Spotify. Spotify. Them, yeah. What's the other one we're on? Um, we're on all of it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm listen. I'm not a social media uh, 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 guru. But you're right, man. But, technology lets us yeah. talk to folks. But man, it's gonna be really good yeah. to get people right here in the studio. So man. looking to blow up, blow up in 22, right? That's what we want to do. That's right. Reach out to Brandon and Xavier, man. We want you on the show. Well, listen, y'all need to go ahead and send Neil a note. <laughs> and now I'm real. getting the notes. Yes, yeah, send him some notes, <laughs> right? So we got you got two assignments, right? One is hitting up Brandon and, and Xavier. Telling them to step it up a notch. And then the other assignment is hitting up Neil, right? And saying, listen, I need you to bring some flavor to the podcast uh, and, Come on. and bring, and bring Come some on. of the your water is boys, warm. right? Get in here. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We cannot wait, man. 2022 is going to be. Do you notice special. that Neil always wear red? Why he always wear red? What, what does that represent? Why he can't wear blue sometimes? Ooh. He wearing red. What's up with that? Man, Neil? that is hardcore, What's man. That's, that's, that's <laughs> doing man. Doing makers, man. What's up? Well, you know, I got a blue cup, you know. I don't like to just be in one color, but, you know, that is Buckeye colors, so I, I, I oh, do Jesus. have to. That's what that is. <laughs> hey, matter of fact, did, oh, Ohio State didn't play for the national championship, did it? No, or, no, no, no. We had good Thank seats God in for front that. of that that's TV why, this year, That's though, why man. it was a good game, right? That's, that's exactly why it was a good game between Georgia and Georgia. And Alabama. Oh, we got hope. <laughs> we have hope for 2022. Well, that SEC is, is nothing <laughs> nice, right? Three years in a row, yeah. three different SEC hey, champs. Man, let me that's tell impressive. You, so, uh, I'm going to tell you something, right? So, I, so, sometimes, you know, I think that, you know, in some of my mindset is, uh, how do we make FRC the SEC is advocacy, right? Hey, man, I love the right? SEC. what I mean by that, right, is that, and I think it's some big things that's in the pipeline, but what I mean by that is that, man, we are working with people who are banging right that's we're right. working with with vote right that's banging we're working with reform alliance that's banging right and then we have individuals we got folks that's going to be coming up out of frc doing some amazing work that's right look, look this buckeye work. fan will say oh, it. we're the sec of advocacy oh, work here oh, in florida like man come on we're the sec of advocacy i like that <laughs> yeah. man hey that's going to be a rap song. A hey, wavy mob, hook us up, bro. <laughs> Come on, right? man. SEC of advocacy. I like it. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> SEC of advocacy. I like I that. Like, but yeah, no, yeah. we want to, um, that's something that we really want to, um, we're going to be highlighting to as well. You know, as we're uh, growing relationships with other amazing organizations that's part of this clique, uh, that we have a returning citizen. You know, we get F- FICPFM. Uh, we need to have the national organizer. We will have the national organizer in studio, right? Because the national organizer happens to be based in Orlando, too, as well. David Ayala. Yep. We're going to bring him in, right, and talk about everything the that's work going that's on. happening Ooh. on a national level, right? They're, they're part of SEC, right? Uh-huh. Hey, that's, a, hey, that's how we're going to rock it. And then, of course, uh, uh, we had Daryl on, that's right, right for, for with Forward Justice, right? Uh, man, we had Joshua on. Yep. Man, we had so many good yeah. episodes, man. Those so conversations were real. Let's bring in some more folks from organizations that's doing amazing work, that's kick butt work. Because you know, when you look at the FEC, I mean, come on, think about it. The SEC basically owns uh, 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 the national championship over the last several years, right? Mm-hmm. And just to think that. 
the two teams that played in the championship had to play in their uh, title game, right? That's right. Because then play in yeah. the championship. And then yeah. play in the championship. It just shows that just the dominance, that there's a lot of good teams that's doing a lot of good work. And that's the whole thing. When you think about it, like I, I used to, I brag all the time about how over the last, like, say, five years, right? So we, we, we passed the amendment for in 2018. So 2018, 2019. 2021. 20, no, let's five years. Let's just say last three to four years. Check this out. The biggest wins as it relates to freedoms or as it relates to creating a more inclusive democracy were all led by people who are directly impacted. Oh, say that right? again, Desmond. Say the that again. The biggest man. wins over the last four years in this country. Right, you can connect it, right? Because at the center of it were people who are directly impacted. Us, y'all, think about it. In Louisiana, not only did they pass a ballot initiative around unanimous juries, but they also had passed a. a, a they won a, a court battle that allowed over forty to fifty thousand people to be able to register to vote. And right work through the legislature, yep. man. They were they were hitting it on all. Counting. Forward justice, banging out lawsuits, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 giving access to democracy to tens of thousands of individuals. Then you had like Dorsey Nunn oh, with uh, all of us. Uh, Susan Burton, T Taina Vargas, right? Uh, with Initiate Justice. And they were all part of a cohort that led Prop 17, which expanded voting rights to people even while they were on probation or parole, right? Well, and we talked about and, Tara yep. Simmons and up in Tara, Washington, state of Washington. So the biggest things that were done in this country over the last four years, the battles that was won was actually led by people just like you and me. No, that's right. Because, right? look, we believe so, that there's not a better evangelist for democracy <laughs> than someone who's lost the right to vote uh, and got it back, right? I mean, that is so that's real. another reason why, you know, we're, we're, to me, it reminds me of the SEC. We just dominate. Right. You know what I'm saying? LSU wins, hey. then Alabama yeah. wins, then yep. Georgia wins. Shoot, matter of fact, we may have to bring DJ Khaled on here because he could help us do that. <laughs> All we do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> that hey, Because guess what? When you have directly impacted people who are invested that's right. This ain't no political fight. science exercise yeah. for us. This isn't yeah. like a, sitting you're not, in an air you're conditioning not room like, away. oh, man, yeah. maybe we win, yeah. maybe we don't. You're not walking away when the going gets tough that's or right. whatever, you know, that you're sticking to stand because that's all we got, right? That's right. And, it's our lives. And, and it's our lives. That's so cool. And so how are we, like, elevating those voices, how are we uh, are really showing how we are the SEC of advocacy around criminal justice and really – being very intentional in highlighting organizations and individuals uh, across our conference, right, that is doing some kick-butt stuff, right, showing that, yeah, we the bomb. That's We're right. not Ohio State, y'all. Yeah. We ain't the Big Ten. SEC. <laughs> We're well, the Big 12 now, nah, right? Well, they're the Big, big Ten. 15. But they're what, the what only team I saw the SEC that's won recently. So, yeah. you know, oh. they're honorary SEC Every members. now and then we let them in, you know. <laughs> Hey, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some folks that wanted to defect to the, you know, SEC. I understand. Yeah, it'd be kind of fun. Yep, yep. But no, <laughs> seriously, we're not, Neil and I are not going to do it by ourselves. Amen. And so, Amen. listen, y'all, um, if you enjoyed watching any of our episodes in 2021, man, just get ready for what we have in store for 2022. And don't keep it to yourself. Share it with other folks. Like I said, we're going to be on multiple platforms, notably Spotify, uh, uh, an Apple, uh, um, we call it iTunes, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be on iTunes. We're going to be on the Apple platform uh, as well as the Fireside and, and a couple others, right? So, you know, our production team is trying to find creative ways to get us into multiple platforms to make sure that as many people as possible are aware of, of, of this podcast and are tuning in and hopefully uh, being inspired by, you know, our conversations, being inspired by our guests and the stories that we're bringing to y'all. We're trying to you know, bring you a, a wide array of, uh, of of topics and 
and approaches. You know, we want to keep this thing. Yeah, live. yeah. We want this show to be a kind of show that if we were at a barbecue together, we were hanging out at the house, that this is the kind of conversation we'd be having. We don't want to be all scripted and just talking about like headlines and stuff like that. We really like to dig in, man. And so, what's happening at your house? What's happening yep. in your hood, man? Like, share. Like, let's let's all do this yep. together because, uh, man, we, <laughs> we 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 want this to be a, hey. a place we can all hang out. Hey, that's why Brandon don't have no hair now, right? He done pulled his hair out because we never stick to the script. <laughs> right, and uh, maybe in 2022 he's gonna learn one episode. Nearly, yeah. Maybe for one episode, like part uh-huh. of the time, we'll stick to the script. He's gonna learn in 2022. <laughs> Listen, don't even bother with no scripts with Desmond and Neil because they don't ever follow it, and, and he probably don't have no more hair to pull out his head. You know, that's fine. It's, no, for real. But we, <laughs> but no, we are. You know, listen, this is a, a show, and, and, and we might even do some more in the news stuff, but. We definitely want this to be a show to where, uh, you know, the word in our community, and I'm talking about the returning citizens or the justice impacted, uh, formerly incarcerated community, the word on on in our community is actually being elevated in a platform uh, that would inspire others and and motivate others and and really inform others as to what's happening and and getting more people to be a part of the movement, man. Yeah, what he said. That's that's right on, man. Now, you know what? If, if our production team is on point, man, they're going to lead us out with our FRC theme song by Wavy Mob. Where it's at? FRC. The leaders of the new school. Uh, 